One of the um, things that I've often thought about, maybe many of you have thought about, is you know, there's a lot of, there seems to be a lot of strife and violence and hate or conflict between people of different backgrounds, different religions, different races, ethnicities, cultures, etc. And I've often imagined what would it be like if we really believed in the same perennial question, the answer, if we had the same answers to the three perennial questions. Two in particular, where do we come from, what are we doing here, and where are we going when we die? When we die? Which means something about God, that our beliefs about God or the afterlife or creation, how we got here, what it's all about, were the same. So as a person who's spent m most of my life now dealing with race and ethnic conflict and inequality and so on, this is a question that comes up for me a lot. So I had recently, I read a book a couple years ago and the book really kind of blew me away because of something that, that this person said and talked about. And it was a book on resuscitation science. And essentially the book is making the argument, this guy makes the argument, and he says, you know, for years and years and years what we've done is try to keep people from dying from having their heart stop. But only recently have we started to ask the question, how many lives could we save? How many people would still be alive if instead of investing all of our resources, there's so many resources into keeping people from dying, if we actually invested more and more of those resources into resuscitating people after they've died? Because such a large number of people in the world stop breathing or their heart stops pumping and we can bring them back to life and we do and they go on to lead very healthy and vibrant lives. But so many more people, this guy was arguing, could be saved if we just knew more information. So what's happened over the past 10 years or so is that we've started to invest more money into what we call resuscitation science. Meaning like bringing people back to life. And as a result of that, we're bringing more and more people back to life. And not only that, but we're collecting data on them. And in particular, we're collecting data on their afterlife experiences. What happened when their heart stopped pumping? What happened when they stopped breathing, where did they go? Especially because they've gotten so good right now at reviving people that people can die for long periods of time, can stop breathing and their heart stop pumping for long periods of time, including like 30 minutes and 45 minutes, and we can bring them back to life, and they're fine and no damage. And that's important because you understand, once your heart stops pumping blood through your body, and once you stop breathing, immediately your cells begin to break down. And the most important are the brain cells, because once they start to break down, you have that permanent brain damage, and then it's a problem. So immediately, within seconds, your cells start to break down. But they're developing all of these techniques that they can use to bring people back after they've stopped breathing and their heart stops pumping and it's pretty amazing. But what it means is that lots of people are having out, out of body or afterlife experiences. I Meaning they're dead and they come back. So many of us have probably heard stories about people that have afterlife experiences. Has anybody in here died? Anybody die? Anyone? Nobody? Does anyone, did you die? What's that? Yeah? So, okay, so listen. So what I want to do is have a conversation about some things that we've learned. And here's what I need. I need some volunteers. I need, I need a Christian, someone who's like really super Christian. Probably a couple of you in here. <laughs> super Christian? I need a Muslim? Someone who's Muslim? Dude, super, are you super uber Muslim? Wait, hang on. Yeah? All right, come on. Is he, he's serious? Wait, does he drink? All right, hang on. 
<laughs> no, it's not good. I need a Muslim who at least doesn't drink. Is that you, bro? Yeah. All right, come on, you're done. All right, come down the front. I need a Hindu. Someone who is, are you Hindu? I need someone who's Buddhist. Who's Buddhist? Who's Buddhist? Dude, are you Buddhist? Okay. Get book close. On Tuesday. On Tuesday, you're Buddhist? Dude, Buddhist, you, listen, today's Thursday. Can we go with Thursday? All right, here, you can just line up down here. I need an atheist. Definitely need an atheist. There's got to be a couple of you in here. I need like a hardcore atheist. Is that you, bro? Yeah, that guy? All right. And here's what I need. Is there, is there someone who's Jewish but like re Israeli Jewish? Like, no, hardcore, like really, really Jewish, not just like once in a while. Are you sir, super Jew? Super Jewish? All right. And I need, and I need, is there, are there any, are there any Palestinians? Any, anybody with Palestinian ancestry by chance? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone with any Palestinian ancestry? Okay, well, we're good enough. So we have, no, hang on. Who's, Pal who's got some Palestinian in them? Come on, seriously. There's got to be somebody. Anyone? Okay, we good? Oh, any Trump supporter? I need a hardcore Trump supporter. Is that you? All right. Yeah, your hand went right up. And, and I need someone who really, really dislikes Trump. Like, really. Dude, who re wait, is that you? Do you really dislike Trump? Dude, you hate Trump? All right, here we go. All right. Okay, so here's the deal. You're what? So I'm you're Jewish. Jewish. All right. What do I stand? You can stand. You gotta stand next to the anti-Trump guy. You guys. No, hang on. Just stand right here. You just stand here. Okay. So you. What's your? Okay. Hang on. Here we go. Let's introduce ourselves. What's your name? Miriam. Miriam. Mm -hmm. And you're Jewish. Yes. You've been to Israel. Mm-hmm. Once. Okay. Once. Mm -hmm. Cool. Like a birthright or yeah. a thing. Yeah. yeah. How was it? It was fun. Okay. I enjoyed cool. it. All right. Cool. And you? You're the Trump person. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Taylor. Taylor. That's a nice Trump-loving name. All right. <laughs> and where are you from? Florida. By chance, are you? What's? Do you? Are you religious at all? Christian. Christian? G generic Christian or like anything yeah. special? Like Baptist. Baptist? Oh, serious Christian. All right. Bro, you're the atheist. I am. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Eric. Eric? Yeah. All right, cool. Eric the atheist. Uh, Eric what the atheist. What are you doing? Are hardcore atheist? Like yeah. you believe in nothing? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much like, I mean, I'm not like one of those people that like goes around like yelling at people who are religious. Yeah. But I'm pretty much like close to it. I'm. Like if, if religion comes up, I'm pretty staunch with my with my well, stance. Well, it's good that you're next God. to the the woman who's Jewish, because <laughs> it's really uh, so many Jews who I know are atheists too. So you know, it's easy. It, all right, bro. My name's Connor. Connor. Yeah. And you love Trump, right? No, I hate Trump. You're, all right, there you go. Where are you from? I'm from a small. <laughs> Dude, dude. I set my hat on. Uh, you Thank you. Hat? Bring it nice I'll be here on the Yo, cake. Come on, dogs. I, I got your back. We got your back. 27% of all these people out here are with you, by the way. All right, bro. Wrong. So, all right, go ahead. And you? Hi, everyone. My name's Protov. What is it? Protov. And what's your name? What? What are you? I came up here because I'm a Hindu, but I also fucking hate Trump. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Dude. Yeah, all right. Stay with me. I, all right, dude. Hello? I'm nah, here. dude. We got it. Go Whoa. ahead, bro. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm a Hindu. I'm a Buddhist. Hello. And you are Buddhist? Yeah. yeah. On Tuesdays? On Tuesday. But Thursday today? too. It's all right. every other day. Yeah. All right, cool. Buddhist. Where are you, where's your ancestry from? Vietnam. Vietnam? All right, bro. Um, my name is Rachit. Rachit. Yeah, and I'm from India. And you're Hindu? Yeah. But here's a, let me see if you're really Hindu, bro. How many Hindu gods are there? Oh, it depends on who you ask. Okay. Because there are like thousands of them, and like each state, there are like 30 states in India, and each one of them follows a different one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we have like 50 languages, official languages in India, so it's not like U.S. Yeah. Did you know that, bro? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Jordan. And Christian. you're Christian? Yeah. Like serious Christian? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Like, like 
Speaking in tongues, Christian? Yeah. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Have do. you ever spoken in tongues? I did, yeah. I seriously? Did. Mm -hmm. How was that? It was interesting. <laughs> yeah, so somebody was, I spoke in tongues one time too. I'll really? tell you the story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think it was Jesus I was talking, but. Wait, does this hey, work? Bro. Yeah. Hang on to that. All right, go ahead. What, what's your background? Uh, my name is Kaif, and I'm Muslim. You're Muslim? Yeah. Not and like Nation of Islam, though. Not that kind of Muslim. So you're, are, you, are you American Muslim? Yeah. Yeah? Like, serious? Do you pray, like, how many times a day do you pray? I mean, it depends. Like, it could be five, it could be none. So. Okay. All right. Depending on whether you're drinking? No, you don't drink. I don't, I don't drink you're anymore. Good. Okay. All right. So listen. Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. <laughs> lot of, lot, there's a lot of conflict up here, right? Because, like, Muslims and Buddhists are battling each other out, and Muslims and, Hindu, and Hindus in India, and, and uh, Jews and, and Muslims, Palestinians in Israel and Palestinian areas, and so on and so forth. Christians are battling everyone. Atheists are battling, atheists are just trying to hang on, okay? So there's all sorts of stuff, right? Now here's the deal. Here's, I want to tell you all a story, right? So, so the question is, what if we were all really going to the same place or we had a similar experience? So let me tell you what we've learned about from resuscitation science and all this work, right? A, here's what the vast majority of people who die and kind of had a, some sort of afterlife experience, here's what they report. A, it was amazing, they didn't want to come back. So you don't have to be afraid to die. Everyone, everyone who dies, it's an amazing experience and they don't want to come back, okay? There's a feeling of just warmth and love and light and just, it's just perfection. There seems to be some kind of a, an, a being, some kind of entity, something that's there that they feel just really embraced by. Nobody can say what it is, but they just say there seems to be something there, okay? They often... Most people, these, again, these are people who die and they come back. They, re they clearly die. They have no brain activity for periods of time. It could be a minute, could be five minutes, could be 10 minutes or 20 minutes, okay? They report that they saw relatives. And there were relatives who were welcoming them and oftentimes beckoning them to come forward and saying, come, come, come with us. And there were oftentimes relatives who met them and said, it's not your time, you need to go back. Okay? They often report, and this is a cool, who's the Christian? Christian and you're a Christian, right? You're a Christian too? You can't be a Christian and hate, bro. You said, I hate Trump. Christians don't hate. This one does. This one does? <laughs> okay. Am I right, bro? Am I right? Uh, don't worry. Okay, all right, go ahead. I'm going to ask the don't atheist. Worry. All right, so listen. So here we go. Another thing. There seems to be, there's this sense that this being, and this really follows the Christian story a lot and the Muslim story, this being that's there, that can't be articulated, can't be seen, is not embodied in some way, but is sort of, is beckoning people to do an ethical, moral assessment of their lives. And so people were held, held, and this is the word that people often use, held, to look back over the course of their lives and examine all of the wrong things that they've ever done against anybody else. Pretty awesome, right? Pretty awesome, and that fits with some of the story, like your story, right? That, uh, yeah, that God, Jesus, or God or somebody will be waiting there and like help us to do this moral assessment okay but here's the key here's the key everybody everybody from regardless of where you're from in the world regardless of what your experiences and your beliefs are whether you're Muslim or Christian or Hindu or Buddhist or Hindu, or a, semi a hateful Christian, or an atheist, or a Jewish, or a Trump Christian, doesn't matter what it is, everybody has the exact same experience. The exact same experience. We don't know 
what happens when we die. We have no idea. At best, we can, the best information we have, however, is to take it from people who have died. And they all share the same experience, people all over the world. People who have died, and they're all reporting the same thing. So what's it mean, right? Dude, so here, come here, bro. What's your name again? Connor. Connor, come here. Oh. Listen. <laughs> Hold on. Connor, meet Taylor. Taylor, meet Connor. <laughs> Am I right? Dude, exactly. Dude, listen. All your differences between you, when you die, you can like cross over and have conversations with each other in front of God. Okay. See is you that then. Cool? See you then. Fantastic. Oh, you got it though, right? Yeah, this I got is it. the thing. Yeah, I believe you. You got it? I got it. So, what are we arguing about now? Like, what do you think is going to happen? For you, here, come here a second. The, the Muslims, you know, you got the, the Palestinian. No, 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 I know you don't. But so many Muslims, so many people have a hard time with Israel and Judaism and Jews, yeah. Jewish people. Just right? Israel. Yeah. yeah. But so many people in Israel have a hard time with Palestinians and Muslims. And so, same thing, right? Here we are. We're all in it, and we're all in it together. And so, my thing is wondering wait, introduce yourself, by the way. Okay. I'm Kaif. I'm Kaif. Miriam. Hi. What's good? Wait, hang on. Hi. I'm Kaif. Kaif? <laughs> yeah. Can I get a shot of this, by the way? <laughs> Here. Can you guys give me a nice, a nice shot? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, you rock. Oh, my God. Okay, so listen. Here's the thing, y'all. Right? We start the semester out with the idea like we're going to argue and we're going to bicker and we're going to talk about all these things and we're going to struggle and all of the stuff that happens. Dude, the Trump haters, the hateful Trump anti-everybody, I don't know who all you hate, but you know, y'all hate Trump people. It's like, look, we're, if we're all going to the same place, if there is some kind of afterlife and we're all going there, what does it mean for where we're at right now? And what's it mean for those of us who have these belief systems to tell that we think that we are the only ones that are going to get there? Because if we think we're the only ones that are going to get there, get there, meaning to heaven or wherever it is, it's a lot easier for us to commit violent acts against other people. It's a lot easier. We can treat people with disrespect. We can look down on people. We can be afraid of them. We can do any number of things, but if we're all going to the same place, what does that say? In my mind, as a sociologist who studies these issues, I would have to believe that we all, if we all really understood this, dude, even the atheists report an experience of some kind of God. I'm, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, you know what I mean? They might reject it, but they report it, and so... Do you have a thought on that, dude? Um, I mean, I'm, I don't want to sound like a textbook atheist, just kind of like repeating the same shit over and over again. Yeah, I got But you. like, I'm of the mindset that there might be a scientific reasoning behind that. Yeah, I mean, right. in my mind, the fact that every person, regardless of background, reports the same exact thing is evidence that there might be a scientific reason behind why those experiences happen. Dude. <laughs> exactly. There might be. And there might not be. There might not be, yeah. And the point is, we don't know. And if you, we're going to start this class out with what happens when we die. We don't know. The only evidence we have is we're all going to the same place. So let's start the semester right there. Okay? And let's see where we go. And Trump people, dude, anyway, that's it. Thanks for, thanks, bro. We're going we're gonna to get rid of that hating you, bro. I'm telling you. Because Taylor, Taylor, you're going to work on him. The two of you can sit together next class. I'm winning, so I'm Dude, winning. you're winning. You are. You, listen, you're winning. Can I take a shot at the two of you? Go ahead, dude. Put your arm around her, dude. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. Thanks, man. All right. Thanks, bro. All right. Thanks, dog. Thank you, man. Thanks, dog. Thanks.